as oil continues to gush from the Gulf, Planet 100 equips you with a guide to offshore oil drilling. This is Planet 100. Welcome to Planet 100. On today's special episode, the who, what, why, when, where and how of offshore oil drilling. What is it? Well, as easily recoverable oil reserves diminish, exploration turns to deep water oil wells a mile or so beneath the ocean's surface. There are 10 types of oil rigs designed to extract oil from 200 feet to 200 miles off our coastlines. Drilling mud and blowout preventers help control the massive pressures on the Earth's crust, but weakening regulations have resulted in a fourfold increase in offshore oil leaks in the last decade. Where is the oil? Today, some 4,000 oil platforms operate in US federal waters, while thousands more operate off the coast of Africa, Asia, and South America. US offshore oil produces 1.5 million barrels per day, or 30% of total US oil production. Contrast that with the current US oil consumption of 21 million barrels per day, and it amounts to a paltry 7% of total demand in the US. Who's driving offshore drilling? More than 220 different companies operate the oil rigs, making billions in profits each year. Most of all, US cars and trucks, which consume more than half of the world's supply. Unlike Western Europe and East Asia, where there's cheap and efficient mass transportation, America's decentralized and dispersed suburban setup results in huge car reliance, thereby fueling our oil addiction. History buffs can trace the first offshore well to 1887 and a wooden wharf off Summerland, California. Those were the days. Since then, technology has made it possible to drill deeper and farther from shore. Ironically, just three weeks before the BP oil disaster, President Obama ended the moratorium on offshore drilling, throwing open a huge swathe of protected coastline in Alaska, the Gulf of Mexico and the eastern seaboard, a decision that may now be reversed. Why do we care about offshore drilling? It comes down to costs versus benefits. If there's enough oil offshore to offset foreign oil consumption, some may argue it's worth the risk. But even with proven offshore reserves, we wouldn't come close to offsetting foreign oil imports. And the Deepwater Horizon catastrophe has proved that the risks are super high. The cleanup of devastated ecosystems and lost income of Gulf residents is estimated in the tens of billions. So how do we move forward? If offshore oil drilling is to continue, we need to, at the very least, ensure proper regulations. No more meth and porn on the job, no more permit exclusions, or missing automatic shutoff valves. But isn't the Gulf oil spill a wake-up call to push for clean alternatives? For the first time, we have the technology to produce ultra-efficient gas engines, trucks that run on clean natural gas, and fossil-free electric cars. What do you think? Have your say about offshore oil drilling by leaving a comment on our Planet Green YouTube page, and we'll see you tomorrow for more Planet 100 news. 